I'm Miles Fisher, Director of Sales and Accounts at Highview Solutions, a Google Cloud partner. I am joined by my colleague here, Mr. Jake Lopez. Jake, how are you today? Doing excellent. How about yourself? Excellent. Doing well. And we have some information to share about using Google Workspace Enterprise Standard uh, to manage uh, Windows 10 Pro devices. And we look forward to taking you through um, a quick overview as well as a short demo provided by Jake. If you have information about this feature, feel free to contact us, sales at haveusolutions.com. Let's get into it. So when we use the term Google Workspace, we are referring to Google's productivity suite. It continues to evolve over time. Google's investing a lot of work releasing new features heading into 2021. Uh, it was previously called Google G Suite, now called Google Workspace. So just one note there as we get started. Um, so Jake, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to you here uh, to talk about um, some of the features specific to managing Windows devices. All right. Um, so the, the first step is setting up just the login. Um, you can have a credential manager for G Suite and Windows devices. Uh, prerequisites are it has to be a Windows Pro or Enterprise, so that it works. So if it's a home edition, you're not going to get it to work. Um, and then uh, you can have that add work account as soon as you have installed the credential manager. Um, all right, we can probably, thanks. All right, so the Windows device man management. So you have two different sets, uh, setting management, where you have uh, set users, administrative permission levels. So they can be either admins or just standard users in, in the local machine. Um, you can enable BitLocker encryption, manage automatic updates for Windows, and apply custom settings, including disabling camera or uh, disabling even just a background image. You can do that for all the users. Um, for device management, of course, you still have the same ability of wiping data from a device, get details about all the managed devices, and so on. And this is how the Windows settings page looks like. Um, as, soon as, you leak, as soon as you click on each one of those sections, then you'll see additional details. Uh, desktop security setup is the first one. That's a simple toggle. Um, feature, so that's going to enable it for you. Account settings where you can manage whether users on that organizational unit, and this is by orgs, of course. So either you apply this for the main org or sub-organizations, depending on your structure. So um, either admin or standard user. And then Windows update settings. And uh, BitLocker settings, which is an encryption feature uh, built into computers running Windows 10 Pro or Enterprise. Great. And, and this is all found under the device section of the Workspace Admin Console, correct? Correct. So it's under device section. And Great. then you'll find Windows settings. You can use the search feature at the top to make it simpler. Right. All right, Jake, I'll go ahead and hand over the screen share to you uh, to check out, check out a demo of what this looks like in action. All right, sure. So let me get this going. All right, so this is what you're going to see as soon as you turn on the device. So you're going to get the login screen. And instead of having just the regular Windows login screen, you'll have the add work account at the bottom. If you have already enrolled the device, then you simply have to log in with your Google Workspace account and password. So it synchronizes passwords. You don't have to have a different password for, for the machine, which is great. So it uses single sign-on. Now we're logging in with the same Google Workspace as if you were just logging in through a browser. And Jake, as this loads, I, I know many of the organizations we work with are running Active Directory and, and pushing like GPO policies to manage Windows devices. Is it true that an, an organization could realistically move away from that entirely and just use this feature? Definitely, through, they through, can. 
workspace. Yes, of course. You can even install applications. So you no longer need to use GPO to push uh, applications over to users or devices. So this removes that entirely. And you can push uh, policies such as um, disabling features as, as we talked about. So as you can see, if I try to look for Cortana, So if I try to open it, this has been disabled in the admin console already. So it's going to tell us that you have to contact the administrator. Great. And, 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 and while that loads, uh, what are some other um, features that might be relevant to many smaller customers that have less than a few hundred employees that would want, want to use this feature for their Windows devices. Um, all right, so they can have a full, fully fledged managed uh, device. So you no longer need or spend that much money on an Active Directory and the licenses. So that's included in uh, Google Workspace uh, Enterprise Standard and yeah, they're going to be able to just fully manage the devices, okay. even get logs for uh, what's going on with with each user account and devices. Got it. Okay. And as you can see, it's disabled. And we can take a look at the admin console real quick, so that you can see where that is actually specified. All right. So this this is the Windows settings. I'm going to go back just one screen. Okay, and then that's at the bottom. So custom settings. And here's where you can specify uh, the different features that you wanna either uh, enable or disable for devices or users. Um, you can add custom settings and this uses autocomplete. So you can probably type in uh, Bluetooth and then you can allow Bluetooth and navigate through all the nice possible settings that you can enable or disable for your uh, devices. And so this, this have actually been pushed. So we can take a look at um, that specific device and we'll go to devices. And we'll take a look at that one specifically. And uh, if, if you have installed apps, you can take a look at what are the apps installed on that. So it gives you a lot of flexibility and, and management over devices. So you can see all of this have been actually installed on that device where this account has been enrolled. Great, great. Excellent. Well, thanks, Jake. Um, appreciate you taking us through this. Uh, for everyone watching, if you have more information or want more information about this specific feature or have other questions about Workspace Enterprise Standard, uh, feel free to reach out our team, uh, sales at highviewsolutions.com or you can just visit our website, uh,